What's up, guys? Welcome to my bedroom. Uh, Jeremy Lou, Jeremy Lou Photography. Um, share, like, subscribe, please. I'm getting a few more subscribers, so it's getting exciting. And now I'm just kind of taking my everyday laugh and um, kind of chatting about it in little videos. This one might be a little bit longer. I'm going to kind of rant a little bit and talk about it. But I had an amazing conversation. Um, first off, we got an XOXO sign in our bedroom. Everybody should have one. It's awesome. All right. So today's video is about um, how do you promote yourself at a wedding? So obviously for wedding photographers, you can do this for event photography as well, but more focused on the wedding event side of it rather than the individual portrait. Um, I was having a conversation with another photographer over at Hatch and we were coming up with some ideas. He's a videographer slash um, photographer. Um, I believe pretty much does everything. Um, but video is what I know him for and he does amazing work. Um, we were chatting and we were talking about ways to promote or to add a little bit, um, how to book while you're at the wedding, if that makes sense. So, um, there's a few things that I do at a wedding that I was kind of thinking about as we were kind of chatting, um, that I do unintentionally and intentionally to get uh, more bookings from weddings. Um, just so you know, my referrals come from my past brides, my past clients, um, and vendors. Those are the number one and two things. I don't get any business, and I'm sorry for this, I don't get any business from Wedding Wire, Yelp, um, any of the companies that you pay to play. I don't get any referrals from them at all. Um, I was with Wedding Wire for a year, signed up, and every once every two months after I called them and said, hey, I'm not getting anything from you guys, um, I would get maybe a referral or two online, which is really, really suspicious. But I would contact those referrals back and say, hey, check me out, and never hear back from them at all. Um, so I ended up just canceling and um, saving a little bit of money, and I, I just got nothing from them. So I kind of tracked where my referrals were coming from. So I'm going to talk about, I have four tips here on how to get yourself more business while shooting a wedding. So this will be at the wedding day. Some will lead up to the wedding day, but more specifically on the wedding day itself. So um, one of the easiest things that I do at a wedding is um, I have an iPad, right? So I have an iPad out. As I'm shooting throughout the day, I'm remembering certain images that I like. I have an iPad set up. Um, your iPad will actually read raw images. So what I do is I take my camera connection, connect it to my iPad, and I pull out about 30 to 40 images um, from the wedding from that day. These are unedited, so you have to make sure that you're shooting in camera. They look amazing. Um, I'm pulling them right into my iPad. Um, I do this kind of right when dinner's happening. I grab um, a little snack and let my assistant grab some food for us. And while she's doing that, I am uploading images onto my iPad. Um, this iPad secretly, I don't tell my clients about this at all, um, goes out onto a table or by the bar or somewhere where I know there's gonna be a good level of traffic and I just put it there. I also put a little sheet um, with an email list on it um, for them to add the email. On the sheet it just says, hey, if you want to see some amazing images from this wedding when they're ready, leave your email down and I snag their email. Uh, by the end of the night, I probably get around 50 to 60 emails. Um, the cool thing with this is that not only am I able to email all these people after who have seen me work throughout the day, these are potential referrals as well, but I'll email them the gallery, which is a shopping gallery through Zenfolio, and they'll actually be purchasing images that I shop throughout the day of just them. So a bunch of couples, um, want a four by six, eight by 10 of them, they're able to buy that from me. A little extra income, but more importantly, my name is branded into their, uh, into their minds now, and hopefully I was an amazing photographer throughout the day. Um, so iPad, if you guys have it, awesome, a little laptop or something, something to slideshow the images. You don't tell your client about it at all. You don't tell anybody. You leave it in a corner, and the cool thing that happens is that everybody starts to go to that corner and start looking at the images. A lot of people think they're live images that you're shooting throughout the day, and it also validates you as a photographer because if the images are amazing, they, they feel a little more, more comfortable, and they're like, you know, there's so many times at a wedding where a, a couple will come up to me, any couple at the wedding, and say, you're an amazing photographer, I love your energy, I love what you do, and they haven't seen a single image yet. And my joke to them is, I'm glad you love me, but we have to look at the images first to make sure that they're good. So this way it validates a little bit. If you do have an engaged couple or a couple that's about to be engaged, um, they're starting to see the images pull through, they're getting a little more excited because now they're like, all right, well, I can actually talk to this person because I know they're producing great images, rather than three months down the road when I'm actually done with the images, um, when they first see it. By then, they could have gotten engaged, booked another photographer. 
This way validates you a little bit. You get their emails uh, and now you have it for your database. iPad, easy way to go. I think I ranted too much on that. I'm so sorry. Um, the next one, my number two, is using your bride and groom. Remember I said my bride and groom are one of my biggest referrals? Not at the wedding though. I do everything before the wedding, right? You have to make sure that your bride and groom are talking about you. Couple things you can do, social media, add them, comment on their stuff, become friends with them, um, get involved in their lives a little bit via social media, whatever they post, kind of be there, be interactive. Um, when, when you're posting images online, they're seeing it, maybe tag them in something that you see, get them excited to have you at their wedding. Don't be that photographer that contacts them two weeks before a wedding says, hey, do you have your timeline? Um, hey, where, where's the wedding at? Hey, what time is it? Don't let them question you. You have to ask them. You have to be prepared for them. There's ways to do it. If you guys want to learn more about my workflow on a wedding, let me know. But this is that's a different video for everything. But to make a long story short, my couples start off as clients and as friends. So by the time that I show up at the wedding, they have 100% trust in what I do. And they're excited to have me there, at not only as a photographer, but as a guest of their wedding. This is amazing. If... If you have any type of cheerleader at the wedding, you want it to be your bride and groom. Throughout the whole wedding process, they have friends that are getting engaged, friends that are getting married. They're going to other weddings where you're not shooting, and they're constantly showboating and talking about how amazing you are as a photographer. How amazing is that? I don't have to do it. My clients do it for me. So get your, get your clients to become your best cheerleaders. And once you do that, you can book a ton more weddings based off of that. That was number two. Number trace, three is your vendors. I get a crap ton of referrals from other vendors, whether it's a venue, whether it's a caterer, a DJ, a wedding coordinator. Um, make sure that you are connecting with these people. A couple things that I do is I send a welcome email to all my vendors. I get all my vendor lists from my clients and I send a welcome email. I'm Jeremy Lou Photography. I can't wait to work with you. When the wedding's done, I am excited to give you guys some images to use for your portfolio. The one thing that I hear, um, my wife is a uh, cosmetologist, does amazing hair at Salon Lux, um, but she does a ton of weddings. Um, and I have a couple DJ friends I was talking to. They say getting images from photographers is the hardest thing to do. Um, they have to track other photographers down, um, and photographers just don't offer it. If you're a photographer watching this and you do weddings, why aren't you giving images to these vendors? Um, they're going to use it to promote you. They're going to put it on pamphlets, on flyers. They're going to put it, a florist will put it in their shop um, to show your amazing work. A coordinator will put it in their shop. They'll put it in a book to show their client. Easiest way to book you. If you're not giving images per wedding, you're losing out on a crap ton of business. Um, it's one of the most frustrating things ever. And I see it on social media all the time where people go, uh, this venue wants to use my images in their pamphlet and they don't have the copyright. And they don't want to purchase them. Give them the images to promote to thousands of people for you to work. Um, I don't get it. Is that $300 per image or $20 per image worth more than 20 brides booking you for the year? Simple as that. Make You should just be handing it to them like candy. Use my images and all your stuff, please, so that I can make money. Um, my vendors are huge. I make sure I make friends with all my vendors. Um, and I, I promote more of the vendors that I like working at. If it's a venue I love working at, then I'm going to give them as much as I can. I'm going to make them a small book. I'm going to give them a canvas, whether they put it up or not. I'm going to give them prints. I'm going to give them a bunch of stuff and I'm going to become friends with them so that they can refer me out. Um, and, the, and the places that I don't want to work, I just do a little bit less for them. Um, and you know, I never talk bad about another venue ever. Um, even though I did have this discussion with another venue who was talking crap about another venue right in front of me. And really that's just petty. You just don't do that stuff. So that was a three. The number four one is kind of not a tip, but it's something that I do, um, that I always see photographers do. Um, stop giving out business cards at weddings. I said it. Um, there should be no reason why you're having a grip load of business cards and you're handing them out. Um, if you're at a wedding, a good, a good wedding, good size wedding, um, they spend a little bit of money in it. The last thing that they need is a photographer handing out cards, promoting themselves at a wedding. We're photographers. Our egos are getting up there. We forget that the wedding is about the bride and groom. Um, if you really want these people to remember you, you need to give them something to talk about. You need to give them a reason to find you. Um, 
all my clients know my name. A quick test on, on well-known photographers in your area. Um, ask anybody that's gotten married, any shoot that you do. I ask everybody, especially locally, you know, hey, when did you get married? Five years ago? Cool. Who shot your wedding? I would say right now, 50% of the people have no idea of the name of the photographer. And that kills me because I can guarantee that like, I mean, let's say 90% of my couples, the brides all know my name. The grooms are who we're worried about. We'll say Jeremy Lou photography shot it. Jeremy Lou, whether it's good or bad, we'll talk about that later. But they know my name because they know my brand. You have to give them something to talk about. You don't want to hand out business cards to people. You guys go to events. You guys go to these, you know, if somebody hands you a flyer or a card, are you going to keep that card? Are you going to throw it in your back pocket and forget about it? Or are you going to walk to the nearest trash and toss it? Give them a reason. That's why I collect their email addresses. I do everything so I can send something to them rather than hand out business cards. Throwing business cards on a table, throwing business cards at the end of a buffet line, um, that's, just, that's just like, it's just there. Why are people grabbing it? Nobody go, gets excited to grab something that, that everybody else can grab. Um, my last little point on the business cards before I leave you guys is um, I was uh, reading a little book and um, this uh, photographer was booking weddings at sixty thousand dollars, seventy thousand um, dollars, and and she never handed out a single business card. Um, it said that people that spend more money uh, don't want what everybody else can get. So, for instance, if you come up to me and I just have a grip ton of business cards to give you, I'm kind of like available for everyone all the time. But if you come up to me and I say, "Hey, I don't have um, a business card." I just don't carry them with me. It's, with, it's true that I just don't carry business cards with me. Um, but if you get a napkin and pen and paper or, or if I can grab your info and I'll send you some stuff, um, I'm happy to reach out or you can just contact me. Um, just look up Jeremy Lou Photography online and I leave. As scary as that sounds, I have booked 20 of my higher end brides that way in the last year just by saying, hey, look me up. Or, hey, do you have a napkin? And, and I would write down just Jeremy Lou. I was like, literally, Google Jeremy Lou Photography, you'll find me. Um, it makes them feel a little bit more special. They have to do a little bit of work to find you. And that way, you're not just the everyday photographer. Um, hope that helps. This is a long video. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's one of my longest videos. But if you have any questions, comments, please write them below. I can do another video on anything else within there. Um, enjoy the XOXO of the bed. And you guys have an awesome day. Share, like, subscribe. Thanks.